Well. class veteran video game critic Michael does life. <laughs> class veteran video game critic Michael does life. <laughs> Alrighty folks, I got some brand new news on Starfield. Starfield has gone gold, preload begins tomorrow. And the Q&A is coming up at the top of the hour. We are just 15 days away until launch. So the game has gone gold. And the preload begins tomorrow on Xbox. Now, a lot of news today, and the Q&A is starting at the top of the hour here, which we will be covering in hopefully a way that makes sense. And we'll see what has to, um... Yeah. It's over! Troy Sports coming through. Official source Troy Super Chatted $5. It's time to bow down to Todd Howard and veteran video game well, critic Mackle does life. 
it was over, but now we're back. Huge W, clinking beer mugs, clinking beer mugs, clinking beer mugs. Yeah. So we're waiting for the uh, Q&A at the top of the hour. So thanks for tuning in. The game has gone gold. And we are waiting for the Q&A. At the top of the hour. Uh, let's figure that Q&A out because it's on... Uh, so let me go figure this out. It's over! The real Michael Myers super shatted $9.99. What's up, Mackel? I think Starfield just might be a success. Are you still cancelling pre order? Like well, I... the stream and give Mackel all your money right now. No. Stay in, you dirty dog, where are you? Um, I canceled my pre-order early this morning, and then I re-pre-ordered it again after they said the preload was live, so. I, I can't afford to be buying these games, because no one comes through. The last two shows have been terrible in terms of support, and I'm not going to sit out here and cry. Because if you guys don't want the show, I just won't produce it. It's fine with me. I don't like doing this anyway. Um, i got to sign up for this shit. I don't know how to sign up for this shit. you got to sign up to view the Q&A. Like, yikes. Got to log in, make an account. Never mind. Choose your pronouns. Holy fuck. It's over! All right. Uh, how do we, uh, I'm trying to get to the Q&A, guys. Trying to get this set up. Mercanium super chatted five dollars. Finally, someone fucking World new coming class, through. The hype for Starfield is real, and we are ready for Todd's magnum opus. Yeah, I'm busy doing something. I can't get hyped right now. I'm busy trying to figure this out. Um, I don't know how to use this shit. I don't use this fucking shitty ass fucking incel thing. Um, Skyrim chat, Oblivion chat. Where's the q and I don't know where to find this shit. Fucking garbage ass fucking... Oh, I guess we can't cover it. I don't know how to cover it. 
I went to the link and it sends me to some fucking... You gotta literally have no life to use any of this shit. Like, dead ass. So I joined the server, what now? Well, I don't see a Q&A on, on, on here, so I'm not sure how we're going to find it. Well, I guess we're not covering it. I don't know how to get to it. Couldn't tell you. Let's uh, pull this up on the screen to see what is going on so we can get this figured out by the top of the hour. Alrighty. This is what we're looking at. I have no idea how to join the Q&A. It's like a fucking strategy guide I'm looking at here. Uh, I have no idea how to join the Q&A. It doesn't just pop up here. I don't use this website. I'm not five years old. Um, couldn't tell you. I don't see it, so I guess we're not going to be able to cover. I don't even see any Starfield-related shit. How do we um, join the Q&A? Fuck if I know. How do we join the Q and A? I just don't see it. I don't see anything remotely related to Starfield in here. Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind, Daggerfall, Arena, Elder Scrolls. I don't see any Starfield stuff in here. What a fucking terrible ass idea to do this. Well, until someone gives me an answer, I guess we're not going to be able to figure that out. I don't know how to operate that website. I don't use it. Announcements tab. Should have researched first. Maybe you should just get banned off my channel, buddy, because you're pretty fucking toxic. Instead of saying something like that, you go down the negative road. You can't just say, hey, maybe do this. You know, someone else suggested something. Suggest something. Don't fucking sit there and bicker. You're fucking bored out of your ball sack in Seattle. I can't, I can't help you. You got problems. All right. Announcements. Here we go. That's Twitter. What are we going to? Someone just told me what to go to and I clicked it and I don't see it. A 
Announcements tab. Thank you, Arthur Morgan, for not being toxic. Uh, announcements. Okay, we're in the announcements tab. We're in the announcements tab. I guess we just stay right here. I don't know. I don't know how this works. Server news. I guess it doesn't exist. I, I don't know what to tell people. I'm just not seeing it unless it pops up in here. I don't use stuff like this, guys. So unless they update it in here, I don't I don't know what it's at. Too early. It literally starts in like 20 minutes, bro. It literally Okay. Well, let's go ahead and open up the lines. 818-824-4937. The game has gone gold. You don't care. I don't care either. I mean, I have it pre-ordered. I canceled it earlier today, and then they announced it went gold and said you can preload pre it tomorrow. So I said, well, I'll pre-order it again. But, you know, it seems like I need to buy Texas Chainsaw Massacre and uh, Red Dead Redemption 1, so... I'd rather buy those games that actually exist as opposed to one that's too It's out. over! Certainly is over! The real Michael Myers super shatted $9.99. I know when it starts. One PM Eastern. That's in the top of the hour. It's over. So we're just gonna wait here. If it doesn't pop up, I don't know where it would be. I don't use this site. Mercanium super chatted five dollars. I don't use this site, so if it doesn't pop up, then I guess we're not gonna be able to cover it. Unless there's someone else covering it. I know God breed on this. 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 I declined your call three times. Yeah, probably not gonna answer it. I know God breed on this. 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 Well, if you want me to cover it, then you're going to have to help me figure this out. I don't know. I can click on any random thing, and it might take it to us. I don't know. Uh... Structions on how to join. How to join the Q&A. You have to become a member of the Constellation by having a Bethesda account. Oh, God. Okay, I guess we gotta go sign up for more shit. Riveting. 
Well, luckily we still got time to figure this out. Not too much time. Hello? Hello, you're on the air. You called into the show. Speak or don't. All right, I'm going to block you. Block. I'm wasting my time. Don't call in if you don't want to call in. Trying to figure this out. Okay, I'm on the Starfield website. I don't see anything about a Q&A on here. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. I'm on the Discord, that's where it's at. But apparently it's a secret channel or something. I don't know how that shit works, dude. It's fucking... It's an actual loser fucking... Alright, uh, we're gonna close that. No one wants to call in. That's fine with me. I don't want to hear these losers anyway. Alright, log into your Bethesda account. Fan-fucking-tastic. Now we gotta go log into this. Well... One sec. It's over! An external application. Paul Gillespie Yoon super chatted $4.99. How am I toxic? I'm the least toxic human being on this side of heaven. Baby, baby, yeah. baby, 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 baby. I just baby, hit the button baby, and it didn't baby, work. Baby, baby, baby. What baby, in the baby, fuck baby, is baby, this? Baby, 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 baby. An external application wants to access your. Oh, okay, I guess we go back over here and refresh. I don't know. This is so fucking... T this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Here we go. I think we figured it out. Dev chat. I'm assuming this is it right here. Okay, I think we figured this out. We gotta sign into like four different things, but nonetheless, I think we figured it out here. I think we have figured this out. I think we have figured this out. Let's get this uh, figured out in a way that makes sense over here. And... I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this. Alrighty, I think this is it right here. So, yeah, they, they've already submitted their questions, and then they're going to open them up or something. I don't know how this works. But there's, 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 there's 16 questions here. So they've selected 16 questions, I suppose. Um, and I guess we just wait. I don't know. Coming soon. Oh, you got to just click. I don't understand. Just whatever. Um, so that's what's going on. I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this. All right, we got to figure it out. Thanks for tuning in. So Starfield has gone gold. Preloads go live tomorrow. And I actually did cancel my pre-order because the support in the last two days has been so abysmal that we can't afford to be buying these $100 games. So if that's, you know, if that's how it's going to be, that's fair. You don't have to support the show. But if that's how it's going to be, we're going to have to take steps to uh, hold back a little bit more. So we did cancel the pre-order, but I pre-ordered it because the preload is available tomorrow, and I think that's kind of exciting. So 
But, you know, since we're not getting seemingly a review code for Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that's $40. And since we're not getting, uh, obviously, Re Red Dead Redemption 1 uh, review code, that's another 50 bucks. So that's 100 bucks right there, essentially. So I'd rather take the 100 and put it into those two games as opposed to this that's not even playable or available yet. So, But nonetheless, we, um, we have a pre-order. Pre I did cancel the pre-order earlier today, but... Uh, we pre-ordered it again because the uh, preload's available tomorrow. Submit a question. I don't. I don't. I don't have any questions about this game. I'm not even trolling. No gameplay in 14 days. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, people are in the hype bubble, and that's all that matters, clearly. So I'm not going to discuss it. I've already discussed it for weeks on end. If you can't listen, then that's fine. I know God breed on this. 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 I know God breed on. Well, I I got a I got a I got a review code for the beta, and I thought, well, that would make sense if I got a review code for the full game. But I mean, so far haven't. So maybe maybe they're waiting until the last day. I don't know. I don't have questions. It's not a, whether or not I deserve to. Any, everyone deserves to. Like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh, Lord. Alrighty, this is going to be starting here in a few minutes. So, hopefully we learn something new. Hopefully we learn something new. I know God read on this. 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 I know God breed 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 on this. Open the pin thread, Michael. Fanboys are typing. Nope, I don't want to do that. I don't give a shit about what people are saying. Here to see the Q&A. That's it. Not looking at a chat room. Oh no, God, breathe on this. The plate is too hot. Have no idea what you're talking about. American English, that is what I'm liking to hear. I know God breed on this. 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 Well, I mean, if they don't support the shows, I just won't do them. I mean, that's it's fine with me. I don't have to go live. I'm really over it. So, you guys want to stop supporting the show? That's fine. I I just won't go live. Clearly you don't care about it as much anymore, so because I didn't respond to your DM or some shit, so whatever. Don't send me DMs because I won't respond to them. I don't have any interest in talking to any of you. Sorry for being honest. I'm talking to you now, that should be good enough. Alright, first question is unveiled. First question is unveiled. Can we buy houses or property in main cities? Where do we see the answer? First question is unveiled. Can we buy houses or property in main cities? Good question, I suppose. The answer is going to be no. How do we see the answer? How do we see the answer? I know God breed on this. 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 
How do we see the answer? How do we see the answer? Oh, you guys can't see it on the screen. Okay, we'll fix that. I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this. This is question one right here. Question one right here. There's no answer, so I guess we're going to have to wait for that. I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this. Let's go. How do we see the answer? What are we waiting for? I know God breed on this. 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 How do we see the answer? I guess there is no answer. Maybe they're not going to answer that question. I know God breed on this. 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 Let's go. Well, if they're not going to answer the question, I'm going to I'm going to open up the lines. Lines are open, call in or don't. You want to talk so bad with me? Now's your opportunity. Use it. 818-824-4937. Number on the screen. Waiting for the Q&A to get answered here. And so far, nothing's happening. So, I guess this is a two-hour event. Maybe they answered it somewhere else. I don't use this. I mean, you literally have to have no life to use this fucking platform. It's literally a no-life simulator. It's a time sink. Are here to answer your questions. Yeah, that, there's nothing here. All right, here we go. The answer is right here. Holy shit. They just answered the question. Surprising answer here. Yep, there's housing in different cities that the player can get. Some you have to purchase and some are rewards for specific quests. Really? Holy shit. I'm pretty sure that's brand new information. Unreal. I didn't expect the answer to be yes. But then again, they wouldn't answer it if the answer was no. I think these are hand-picked questions, so... Pretty sure these are hand-picked questions. We're not taking calls right now. The Q&A started. Should have called in four minutes ago. Oh, they're going to milk this, aren't they? Holy shit. I know God breed on this. 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 
I saw one channel today, I'm not going to name the channel name, but they have less subscribers than me and they had 1,000 people watching. They are clearly voting their stream. I know God breed on this. 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 All right, we're waiting for question two. But as you can see, question one was answered, and the answer is pretty great. You can buy properties and houses, or at least houses. It's on the screen. I know God breed on this. 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 Well, we're waiting for question two. Oh, they have two answers here. It's it, it's from two devs. Here we go. Hold on, 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 hold the horses. Sure can. You can purchase a dwelling in all the major cities in the game, and there's at least one that you can get specifically for completing something. Okay. We're waiting for question two. We're waiting for question two. Question two. Uh, if we get the kids stuff trait, will our parents be generated based on our character's look or are there standard parents put in place? What a stupid fucking question, what a waste. Who fucking cares? That's the worst question so far. But luckily, there's at least a dozen more, so. Uh, our programmers on our... Holy shit, they're answering fast. That's a copy and paste if I've ever seen it. Our programmers are on new face tech. We're excited to make functions so that they can try and match your custom face and create the two parents. They are based on what your character looks like, although the specific math involved is a bit beyond me. Yes, totally, just as we did in Fallout 3 with your dad and in Fallout 4 with your son in Starfield. If you take the kids' stuff, trait, your parents are based off of you. No spoilers, but I think fans will really appreciate the actors. We got to play those roles. And that's probably Troy Baker. All right, question three. That was a waste. No one cared about that. What a stupid question. The questions aren't live. I know God breed on this. 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 Question three is live. Holy shit, this is going to be over pretty soon then. Question three is live. For those who have never played a Bethesda Game Studios game and will be starting with Starfield, what information should we know that will make the experience more impactful right from the start? How deep should we go into creating our characters' backstory before we start the game? Another useless fucking question. It's over! Amazing. Tragic bus coming through. Triadic bus super shattered $5. Worst Q&A I've ever seen. Yeah, well... BTW, can you stop singing? It's very distracting when I'm no. trying to read the dev's response. I don't men care. Get hands, a job. Men holding hands. Get a job and I'll get one too. Holding hands, they didn't holding answer the question. Hands, Holy shit. Men holding hands. They literally didn't answer it. It's over. Men holding hands. Men holding hands. Men holding hands. I know God breathed on this. 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 Men holding hands. Yeah. Men holding hands. 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 
Men holding hands. Men More holding about living hands, in the universe we created. Hands, okay, there we go. Men holding hands. Men holding hands. Men holding hands. I know God breathed on this. 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 There is a trait and the background system that will let you specifically tell more about yourself, but you can also select anonymous background and no traits if you want. Well, that's what I'm starting. We're jumping in immediately. I'm not creating a character. That's Loserville. I don't care what my character looks like. Dude, in Mass Effect, I, I, I use the default Shepard. Because he was on the front of the box. So I'm like, yeah, that's the main character. Like, I don't want to create... No, this is a bit different, but... I don't usually create characters. I don't care about any of that shit. I know that sucks, but why would I care about what my character looks like? I don't play in third person. Uh, how will smuggling cargo system work? Can we hide it somewhere on the ship and sell it for more currency later? Terrible questions. Jesus Christ. Like, ask about something riveting. Jesus. Like, shit's already been answered more than likely. I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this. They should have asked about black holes or something. Yeah, I mean, they wouldn't answer that, but... Will it release on PS5? Well, they haven't answered the question yet here. I don't know what's going on. It's over! It's over. Stay in super chatted five euros. I know God breed on this. 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 Exactly. We're waiting for question four to get answered here. I know God breed on this. 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 They haven't answered this one yet. Question four has been um Yeah. Holy shit, they haven't responded. Jesus. Like a 10 minute delay there. Certain items are considered contraband, and you'll need to smuggle them past security ships in order to orbit settlements. There are specific items that are considered contraband, meaning they are pretty much illegal everywhere. Cool. Right. Next question. Who gives a shit about stuff like that? I mean, these losers are asking dumb questions. You got... I mean, granted, they, they cherry-pick these questions, but... Ask about the day and night cycle for NPCs. Oh, wait. I'm sure Chrome Cat's ready. I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this.
Question five. They added more to question three. I don't remember question three. I don't care if they've added more. I don't. These questions are trash to begin with. Go to question three, please. Oh, you've already. Will there be a jail system if you've committed crimes? The answer is no. If the answer is yes, it will be the first game to feature that, from my understanding. Yes, you can elect to go to jail or pay a fine. You're arrested, even arrest, uh, try to escape. The settled system is more like Skyrim than Fallout 4 is Commonwealth in that regard. So they didn't answer the question. That's okay. There's civilization, there's government, there are laws, and in a couple of cases, we actually support the themes of crime and punishment. Our future is the universe. All right, question six is already available. Will time pass when not in the game? For example, my trade routes, outposts, and mining operations continue to produce, or does the only occur? The sim only runs when you're actively playing, no sleeping on the job. Only active when you're playing. All right, question seven. Garbage questions, bro. I know got buried on this. I know got buried on this. I know God breed 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 on this. All right, question whatever. You need to be a double agent in the game. Uh, what factions? All the playable factions can be completed independently. These are pointless qu This is literally just all a waste of time. We haven't learned anything new. I know God buried on this. 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 All right, here we go. Question 20. Depending on the traits selected during character creation, will be it possible to play through the game in pacifist mode? Another pointless question. I know, I'm going to cancel the pre-order again, bro. I can't guarantee every mission can be completed in pacifist mode, but we do have a couple of systems that will help. So the answer is no. All right. Next question. I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this.
Well, let's get to a good question. I mean, we're halfway done almost, and it's like there's no good questions here. It's all garbage. There should be 600 viewers. We, why are we at 300? That's normal. I saw a guy live earlier today talking about Starfield. He has like less, way less subscribers than me. He has 1K viewers. That's not even literally bots. Literally paying for bots. I know God breed on this. 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 I know God buried 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 on this. All right, question nine. Question nine. What are the beliefs and basic history religions can join? Yikes. This is a waste of time. Instead of putting out a launch trailer or something or anything, they do this. Yikes. 25 years in the making. The answer is yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, question seven. 10, rather. Question 10. I know God buried on us. 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 Debbie Downer Alt. I don't know what the fuck that even means, buddy. Hard to have high energy in here when you guys just don't care. It's like going to work every day and your coworkers hate their job. It's like, well, it's hard to have good energy when everyone else hates their fucking life. I guess you gotta overcome that. Human beings. Sad. I work at McDonald's and everyone hates their job. We're going in with a smile. We're coming out with a frown. I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this. Question 10. If a 4070 Ti can't run this, we are in for a rough one. Well, that's what I have too. I got a 4070 Ti. I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this. The 4070 Ti can run anything. Question 10. I know God buried on this. I know not eat on this. I know God buried 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 on this. All right.
right, question 10 is it being answered? How many companions in total will be there able to recruit? There's only four. Why would they ask that when they already know the answer? There's literally only four companions that they've shown off anyway. So I really doubt that's going to be any different. This Q&A is a waste of time. Well, these questions aren't interesting. Sorry. Maybe they shouldn't have held this because there's nothing... I thought people didn't want answers and spoil the game. I know God buried on this. 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 Oh yeah, there's a, there's going to be a bazillion YouTube videos that are 25 minutes long discussing the most minuscule details. They're losers. I don't subscribe to channels like that. The only long form content I do is streams. There are over 20 named characters who you, who can join your crew. Over 20 total. So there's over 20 total characters that can follow you around, I guess. Well, because everyone who plays these games are down bad and lonely and they, you know, it's basically a life simulator, little friendship simulator game. I know God buried on this. I know God buried on it. Who's saying a 4070 Ti can't run the game? Who is no literally no one is saying that, bro? A 4070 Ti can run Cyberpunk Max settings with the ray tracing on. I, I that's what I've been streaming with for a long time. Plus, you have the streaming stuff on top of it. So, I know God buried on this. I know God buried on this. Only 30 characters with over 1,000 planets. Yikes. Your 1060 can run it? Well, now if you have a 1050 Ti, well, good luck on that. Guys, I, 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 I'm not... All right, they've answered all these questions. Holy shit. Question 11, when we assign crew members to work on outposts, do we have to pay them salaries? Yes, you pay them once. We actually experimented with paying them regular salaries, but ultimately decided just to have one cost up front. Yeah, I bet. Question 12, will our companions be able to level up their perks? Will their perks stack with ours? I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this. I don't know why you guys are playing this on PC anyway. Uh, all crews start with a set perks and specific ranks. 
All right, question 13. There's only three more questions left, and that's it for the Q&A. Did we learn anything new? Not really. Oh, shit. I have yet to play one game on modern hardware that it struggles with. I don't know what you guys are trying to do with your computers, but... I know I got buried on this. I know I got buried on this. Please tell me you didn't pre-order the game. Well, I pre-ordered it last night. I canceled it this morning, and then they announced that it's going to be downloadable tomorrow. Not playable, but downloadable tomorrow, so I pre-ordered it again. But, you know, it looks like I got to get Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Red Dead Redemption 1, so. What are your favorite parts of the game? And all these games are $100 to play when they come out now, so. I know Todd breed on this. 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 What if they send you a review copy? That is l no. First of all, they're not reaching out to me. That never happens. You have to reach out to them. Either you don't hear anything back, or you get denied, or you get approved. So. It ain't gonna happen though. Although I heard what's his face was getting a review code and I don't know what he was smoking. This was like when he was playing Final Fantasy. I'm not gonna say who it is, but he said he was potentially getting a review code for Starfield and that to me doesn't make sense because his channel is pretty um, negative. So I'm not really sure why they would send him one, but I guess it's about who you know. Um, I love finding content that I haven't seen yet or forgot about. Our games are so big that one, no one person is likely to have seen it all, even after our, all of our passes and levels of review. Because of my position, my experience is a little different than yours. I won't speak for what personally I've seen. Every quest line, every city, every major piece of content in the game at every stage of development, so my answer is colored by that. For me, the real pleasure is seeing how they've all evolved into versions they are today, the versions everyone will be here to play. I have a real soft spot for Neon, getting that city nailed down to look like Cyberpunk, work different lot of people, and the result, really, the Cyberpunk settlement, I always, oh, they did say, I was, I, uh, love the quest lines, I think they're the best we've ever done, the designers on the project totally killed it, so it's the best game ever pre order now. Well, the Cyberpunk City... It's over! The Cyberpunk City could be interesting. The real Michael Myers super Just because my... $19.99. Thanks for the content and all the games you play for us, Mackle. Rock yeah. on gesture. Yep. Yeah. I know God breed on this. They just took a shit on Cyberpunk? Oh, I didn't notice it. All right, question 14. What books or movies have a big influence on some of the... Wow, what a, way, what a just terrible question. 
I know God breed on this. 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 Boulders Gate 3 is money well spent. I don't say that about most games. Well, it's about who you know. It's, it's not about your content. It's not about any of that. It's about your connections in the industry. That's all it is. Because <clears throat> there's smaller channels that'll get a review copy. And it's not about the numbers. It's about the quality of the content. And if it's fr you know brand friendly and stuff. And who, who you know more importantly. Uh, Yeah, this question's trash. All right, there's two more questions. Question 15, what are some of your favorite small details in Starfield to add to the immersion? This is a good question, but they're not going to answer it really, so we'll see. This is probably the best question yet. What are some of your favorite small details uh, to add to the immersion? I know God buried on this. 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 Yeah, well, that's what everyone wants, a life sim, and then they get mad about me for wanting that. They're like, whatever, dude. You know, it's okay for everyone else to clamor for it, but... Uh, I think what we really love, although humans are living in space and our aesthetic is very much NASA punk, there is a very lived-in universe, and you can see it everywhere. What does that even fucking mean? A lived-in universe. Are we implying that the NPCs live in their houses? Because that ain't fucking happen. Uh, I look really closely at all of our outfits. You can see the seams, materials, especially spacesuits. Cool, great answer. What is your email so I can send you a Steam copy of Starfield? What? I already pre-ordered the game. I know God buried on this. I know God buried on this. I just enjoy games and live life combo. What? Everyone loves the sandwich. Okay, let's go to the next question. This is the last one. This is the last one. You have three Steam copies, by the way. Well, I can cancel my pre-order if you if you really have a copy, but I think you're just looking for attention. Sincerely, you have three Steam copies. That doesn't even make sense. 
All right, the final question, question 16. Here we go. Question 16, here we go. The last question. 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 Fifteen days to go, zero marketing, zero gameplay, zero hype. It is over. Well, you're not totally wrong. But we did get we get we did get more uh, tidbits today than I think we have gotten since the uh, Starfield Direct. It's gone gold. Preload starts tomorrow. Here's the Q and A, answering soft questions. So I mean, it's something. Is it, you know, really that much to chew on? No, but something at this point is better than nothing. So I know God breathed on this. Here we go. <sighs> Pre-order the premium upgrade. Why would I do that? You have to be subscribed to Game Pass to keep it. So you don't even own it. Nope. I'd rather buy the game for $100. I'm not going to subscribe to Game Pass, and then when that cancels out, because I'm not going to renew that, there's no point, uh, it won't let you play the game. Because you're going to have to buy the game separately. That's how that works. I'm not doing the upgrade through Game Pass, because that's not... I don't play Game Pass. I know God breed on this. 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 I know God. What the hell is going on? Question 16 is not being answered here. Unless something broke. Here we go. What are, what is the history of the Max? Cringe. It's over. I know God breed on this. It's over. Well, Rockstar is coming out with Red Dead Redemption 1 tomorrow. Actually, I think it's like 8 in the morning. So, Although you can't buy it right now. I don't know what's going on with that. So no preload, no nothing. You're just going to have to buy it when it's available. And then download it. Hmm. <sighs> That's it. That's it.
All right, let's go ahead and open up the telephone lines. 818-824-4937 on this love, lovely Wednesday afternoon. 818-824-4937. The number is not on the screen. So listen, 818-824-4937. I know God breathed on this. Eight one eight eight two four four nine three seven. It's over. Yeah, we'll see. Paul Gillespie Yoon super chatted four dollars and yeah. ninety nine cents. Buy RDR one on Switch. Would love to see it. I know God breathe on this. By the way, baby, 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 all right, that is it. That is it. Hello, you're on the air. The Starfield Q&A has concluded. Hello, you're on the air. Go, 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 go. Hello, you're on the Michael, air. Yeah, hello, you're Michael, on the air. Yeah, hello, Todd. you're on the air. Michael, it's Todd again. Cool. What do, you, what, do you what, what do you think about Star? What do you think about Starfield? Fuck off. Ooh. I'm gonna block you. I know God buried on this. 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 All right, we're gonna definitely block you now. Eight one eight eight two four four nine three seven. Don't call in if you don't want to. Don't tell people to call into the show. They would obviously make an effort to do that if they wanted to. Do not encourage people to call in if they don't want to call in because they're going to have low energy and I don't need more low energy out here. Okay? So it's as simple as that. Don't tell people to call in. They're going to figure it out if they want to call in. They, they've been calling into the show for years. It's nothing new. If they wanted to call in, they would call in. It's that simple. Just like if they wanted to super chat, they would super chat. They don't want to. Okay? We're going to figure out why. Well, it's because they don't like the show. They say they love the show, but they don't fucking support it. Okay, well, then we got to stop buying these games because we can't review them all. Unless they're all on Game Pass. So, All right, that's it. That is it. The Starfield Q&A is over. So we'll go into the call-in segment for a little bit, and if no one wants to call in, we'll wrap it up here, and we'll maybe see you later. That is it for the uh, Starfield Q&A. 818 the Starfield Q&A has wrapped up. There were no good questions, in my opinion. We didn't really learn too much new. I'd rather see it for myself when the game comes out August 31st. I know God breathe on this. I know God breathe on this. I know God breathe on this. The number is on the screen, folks. If you can't be bothered to call in, we're going to set the timer and we'll be out of here. I know God breathe on this. Five minute timer. Set five minute timer. Where does the timer at? The timer has four minutes. And All right, we're gonna wait to until go. someone calls in. If no one calls in, we're wrapping it up in four minutes.
I'm gonna do a poll in the chat. What do you think about this? What do you think about the fucking uh, Q and A? Hello, you're on the air. Hey, Mike, what's good, man? It's low key. What's good? Hey, you you um, gotta call in. And you gotta go. Go. Listen, man. That the Q and A was excellent to me. That, what? What, what, it, what it showed. Listen, what it showed is now, now I gotta Bethesda, listen. But Bethesda is not taking away any systems that they've already had in other. Okay, games. well, I mean, why like, would they? Like na na name name one over. thing new in there. Well, uh, w one thing that's Kev new Johnston is the dynamicness of pounds. the systems can happen in space. What are you smoking? I didn't I didn't read that anywhere, bro. What you mean, homie? Yeah, you you can get pulled over in space, and people will board your ship in space, and it and, and they can. Where, run where, your dude, I read the whole Q and A. Where the fuck you read that at? Well, you must have not been searching for information because that's known. Why would I? S oh, here we go. Now you're bringing up old information. I'm talking about the Q and A, buddy. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm just telling you that's where I got that information. It was from older information. You Who cares about older about. information? You've had days, weeks to call in and talk about old information. We're discussing the Q and A. Well, I just told you that they're they're building on existing systems. That's good. They're not taking anything away. Why would they take so anything away? So basically, all the systems, like the the law system, the jail system, the bounty system, it's all still there, on it, but expanded. Yeah. You didn't get that from that Q and A. I didn't learn anything new. No. Yeah, that was a lot of valid information in that Q and A, man. If you know what you were listening to. They, they were literally telling you that th this game they are not holding anything back. Yep. E even 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 the followers, the the companions. I didn't even know that you can recruit up to twenty. That means you can have twenty people aboard one ship. Okay. I mean, you could do that in Mass Effect. No, Mass Effect is prefabricated. That's already been been done. There is. Oh, well, how is no how, it? Doesn't matter. How is it any different? Because there's no margin, you can't marginalize it. You can't yeah. put things where you want to. Like you can't uh, basically move like 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 say your steering wheel, put it over here. You know, it's like you can't it, individual. You can't touch any of the things in Mass Effect. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Dog, I, I, that that Q and A was fantastic. That was it's exactly over. what I wanted to hear as a fan. I don't think you even. I don't even think you looked at it. I steal I popular names I'm for like now. super shattered five dollars. Okay, that buddy. That Q&A was slop. Hey, Only but, one but, or but two half-decent um, questions. And, and also, this is what happens. So you don't have I Todd Howard answering the questions. Is, how do you, can you travel from, like, say, a moon from a planet? I mean, you can see the moon. Does it have to be a cutscene? Yeah. From me, going, from me going from the planet to the moon of that same planet? Why is that a cutscene? Because it is. You see what I'm saying? Well, because it is. Now, 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 that is like, I don't understand that. Oh, I mean, come on, man. The moon is right there. But anyway, man, I'm going to move the wheels. But if you knew what you were listening to, that Q&A was very informative. Yeah. You know, that's it. Move it. <sighs> Your friend is out with his wife right now buying a new TV and Series X. Tell him to come out of the show and support it. He's got big money. He's probably got a hot wife, too. Hello, you're on the air. 818-824-4937. Let's go. You got five seconds. Otherwise, we're hanging up. Five, four, three, two, one. Call back in to say nothing in your band. 818-24-4937, baby, let's go. Hello, you're on the oh air. Hello, God. you're on the air. Hello, you're it's on that, the air. Hey, it's that Duncan from Canada. Yeah. Um, so I want to talk about, uh, there's a good question that I like that was in there. It's about the jail system. 
I, I, I uh, really like that question, and um, they answered saying um, there's government and there are laws, and yeah. I think in the story, there might be missions based, like, on criminal activity that you have to do, like, in the, yeah. like, there might be pursuits and all that in space. Well, we'll have to find out. That. And I, I, I really think um, there were some good questions asked. There's really, there wasn't really like, I wanted to see some performance questions. Like, well, nobody really asked the performance yeah. questions. Like, what, how, I won't run on PC, like, all that. And like, yeah. I, I thought there, there should have been more gameplay questions. Yeah, I agree. Way but you know, it is what questions. it is. We're just going to have to wait until the game comes out. Um, yeah, Michael, I, I think the Joe question was pretty cool. Yeah, I think and, it was fantastic. Riveting stuff. I'm blown away. And I think at the at the end of the direct, they showed off that magic thing, like the magic. I think they should have asked the question about yeah. that. Well, we're going to we're going to yeah, we're going to have to play the game to find out. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, Michael, I just wanted to call. Yeah, thanks for calling um, in, man. <laughs> All right, 818-824-4937, let's go. Philadelphia, 90% of Americans cannot walk through this street. Holy fuck. Hello, you're on the air, 818-824-4937, hello, you're on the air. Show some fucking enthusiasm for the show, you bitch. Locked and banned. Thanks for calling in so we know to block you. See you later. Don't tell me how to run my show or what to feel or think. Thank you so kindly. I know God breathed on this. I know God breathed on this. Hello, you're on the air. All right. You're not ready. I don't have to block you, but call back in when you're ready. Thanks for calling in. 818824. Dr. Disrespect got a $50 super chat. The guy's a multimillionaire. Think about that. Unreal. Imagine being down so bad you got to support these multimillionaires. Like, couldn't be me. I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this. I know God breed on this. Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, I don't know, man. Not the oomph I was expecting, if you know what I'm saying. I think it would have been a lot better if we had beautiful Todd Howard come and lay that nice ass down on a nice couch and explain the reality of the situation in a way that makes sense. You know, this it just feels too robotic. It feels copy and pasted. It feels like... Frankly, they aren't showing us the goods right now. And you know what? I like to see those big old cities once in a while, if you know what I'm saying. So I think if they did it in that way, this would really be hitting home. But you know what? Instead, you have to do the Kanye West chant just to wake up. Because at the end of the day, Michael, this was a snooze fest. Yeah. Completely snooze. And this is a pro-PC way of doing it. I don't really appreciate that. The normies need to be spoon-fed from once in a while, and they just didn't land. They didn't stick the landing. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to see. We will have to see. Preload tomorrow. Troubling. 
very troubling, but we will have to see. I guess, like you said, they're confident enough to get the review codes out. So at the end of the day, I don't really care. Right. The game's going gold. I don't really care. But you know what? I feel like if they didn't even do something like this, we would still have that same opinion, right? Of the codes going out, of it going gold, right? This didn't need to happen. Frankly, I don't think a lot of people need are even going to be interested in that. So... Yeah, well, they, they catered to the hardcore audience and didn't answer anything really revolutionary. So, I mean, it, it was more just it's a uh, commercial, really, for the game. I mean. Yeah, I don't know. I, Official I, uh, store super I agree with $5. what you're saying. If you donate I just to don't know why they would have taken this the approach. Support frankly. world class in ways that makes sense. Emma Starfield, she'll believe it and bow down. Yeah. It, it, it's well you know the whole thing has been bewildering i mean the marketing is still absolute garbage um and the xbox homepage has no mention of starfield until you scroll halfway down so it, it's still the same as it's always been with this marketing stuff i mean they're, they're sprinkling a tidbit here and there on on like hardcore nerdy shit because that's what the game is it's a hardcore nerdy game i mean i'm all hardcore but it's a nerdy game definitely it's a space game sci-fi games nerds so you know they did a thing with tested i think they built like a computer or something i don't know what the fucking Thing. I don't know what they did. I don't watch that shit. But um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and you, they have just such vague responses, Michael. Well, that's that's vague... nothing new. I mean, I remember talking to the EA guys, and they wouldn't. I mean, when they, you know, when they, when they couldn't answer a question, they danced around it like a politician. I mean, that's just that's typical PR talk. And I think that's why they uh, decided to yep. do this. You know, yep. this route. Because what you were just saying, it gives them the most, the, the ability then to tango, you know, with the words to, to, like you were saying, man, I completely agree. Like, holy shit, just dance around it, not get to any of the specifics. You know, somebody asked a genuine question, which you uh, commented on about what brings life into the world. I mean, they could have looked at the pitch go by for all intents and purposes. They didn't even take an attempt to swing at it. It's over. Moving the wheels. There's a brand new NHL trailer out. We got to watch this. Look at this. EA is advertising their games. Who would have thought? NHL 24 trailer. Alright, we're going to close the lines down because no one cares to call in. Thanks for uh, attempting. And quite frankly, I don't have anything to say. We've reviewed it. So. Look at this, a 5 minute and 22 trailer. Game Look at this, this is unbelievable. Gameplay review trailer. Check this out. I know God breed on this. Here we go. Look at EA. This game comes out after Starfield, I'm assuming, and well, we got more gameplay footage of this. Holy fuck. Look at this, NHL 24, look at that ice. Reveal trailer. And so much more. This is what Starfield should have done. To show you what's new this year, including a suite of new gameplay features that up the intensity, authenticity, and connectivity of the game. Crossplay is here. Now, you can finally compete with or against your friends on same generation consoles this vastly improves matchmaking quality and shortens wait times. Holy shit, look at EA. Your time on They're the just ice. coming through here, folks. This is a literal game changer. The exhaust engine lets you feel the, the exhaust engine. The opponent in the zone. Look at this gameplay. Strategic decisions More than Starfield. Establish puck possession or attack on the rush. Exhaust engine is made up of the sustained pressure system and the goalie fatigue system. Goalie fatigue system. system. Holy Rewards shit. The sustained pressure event. system. Should we buy this day one, baby? This is more exciting than Starfield. 
offensive team will gain a boost in stats due to the adrenaline effect, while the defensive team gets a decrease in stats. Look at that. They're showing the highlights here. They're showing this the game features. I mean, this is how you market the game. Effective. The dump and chase can be used to wear down the opponent and retrieve the puck. Full pressure strategies like peppering the goalie from all angles to tire this is unbelievable. now effective and cause authentic goal scrambles. And cycling the puck to build sustained pressure opens up new opportunities to attack the net. On the defensive side, you now have to choose between making the safe boards and outplay or risk turning the puck over in the slot. We've also added the goalie fatigue feature. Goalie fatigue. Goalie animations. Holy shit. Desperation save package. Goalies will now tire as you increase attack zone time, move the puck around, and most importantly, get shots on net. As a goalie tires, they'll make more errors, causing rebounds and absolute chaos in the crease. Take the body, take the game. The physics-based contact feature revolutionizes checking and physics-based contact, bringing more physicality to the game and ramping up the fun and authenticity of defensive plays. Holy now, shit! Look at that. If you land a big check, your opponent will re-enter the play slower, creating more turnovers and counterattack opportunities. But if you don't connect, you'll be left out of position. This really increases the risk reward factor and makes gameplay incredibly exciting. Landing a clean, solid check on the opponent will result Damn. in physics based and animation based reactions, creating tons of new wow moments in every game. A quick push on the right stick will allow you to shove the opponent, creating quick puck separation with lower penalty risk. Plus, we've also introduced a new gameplay meta that adds a dedicated reverse body check control. This allows the puck carrier to protect the puck with their body to impactful effect. And to make all of that even sweeter, you can now send players into the bench and break the glass. Showing off your skill has never been this fun. Total Control Skill Moves introduces a whole new control setup that makes highlight reel moves more intuitive and accessible. Button back moves give you more options, but timing the play right and reading the ice will be the difference between success and failure. However, if you prefer legacy controls, you'll still have that option. Plus, the oh, new man. need to fake, pass, or deke out of every move also adds a dynamic new offensive layer to the game. Tick, tack, toe. Vision passing puts tape to tape play with your teammates at your fingertips, offering quicker direct passes to keep puck possession and mount that all important pressure. You can pressure. break the glass. By mapping the controller's face it's buttons over. to your teammates, vision passing doesn't just allow more efficient passing, but opens up different opportunities like disguising a pass on a PP to set up the perfect play. This also unlocks stretch and breakaway passes, giving you new ways to attack the net. But hitting the correct button alone won't guarantee a perfect pass. Gameplay components and player attributes all factor into a successful play. Plus, we've added one touch passing, which lets us to get creative. Goals made it easy to lose the net, creating frustrating empty net goals and a steep learning curve. So in NHL 24, we have added a new tethered control system. As you slide back and forth to make saves, you simply release the left analog stick and your goalie will auto return back to a centered position. We have also added a new instinct system. This allows you to guess the location of the shot for the chance of a goal into the position. Sending your friends into the bench, NHL 24 steps the game up to give you those authentic hockey Real feelings. Reorder now. When's the release date? It doesn't exist. Doesn't say. October 6th, so it comes out after Starfield. More gameplay in that trailer than Starfield show. It's over. All right, that is going to do it. That is going to do it. We covered the Q&A, and I uh, don't really have much to say on it because 
not much to react to there. So that is uh, going to do it. So appreciate you guys for tuning in, tagging along, supporting the show, and we'll see you later.